Santa Clara River watershed is one of the major arteries of Southern California, draining an area over 1,600 square miles. Unlike many Southern California drainages, the Santa Clara River is largely unaltered and unchannelized, retaining much of its natural hydrology and ecosystem function. The watershed supports valuable agricultural lands and provides water for commercial and residential consumers in Ventura and Los Angeles counties. The River Corridor also provides a biologically diverse and rich area that sustains a variety of plant and animal life. Among them are over 17 federally listed species, including the endangered Southern California steelhead. The watershed is also an intersection of five of California's 10 bioregions, particularly the South and Central Coast bioregion. Santa Clara River is a gem in this area. It's one of the last largely wild rivers in Southern California and it's a golden opportunity to really be able to do some fabulous protection and enhancement of the native areas as well as help bring back listed and endangered species like least bells vireo, southwestern willow flycatcher and of course Southern California steelhead. Because of the large expanse of high quality and pristine habitat in upstream reaches, the Santa Clara River watershed has significant potential to help recover the Southern California steelhead regionally and throughout its Southern California range. The Santa Clara River was identified as a stronghold under the North American Salmon Stronghold Partnership because it has a high intrinsic potential for fish abundance and population resilience. Managing the Santa Clara River watershed for steelhead recovery presents both great challenges and opportunities. Challenges to overcome many threats to this fish, but also opportunities to learn how to reintegrate this species back into the Santa Clara River and back into the communities that depend upon the Santa Clara River. Despite extensive natural resources, American Rivers listed the river as critically endangered in 2005. As with most of California, the early 19th century was hard on the Santa Clara River. Human impacts including dams, water diversions, roads, flood control, urbanization, pollution, human-induced wildfires, and invasive species have altered the watershed. These impacts, coupled with climate change, have pushed Southern California steelhead to the brink of extinction. Steelhead are the anadromous, or ocean-going form of rainbow trout. Juveniles born and reared in freshwater undergo a physiological change, smultification, which means they migrate to and mature in salt water before returning to their natal rivers or streams to reproduce. From the time they enter the river, steelhead face challenges on their migratory routes to reach the diverse and high-quality spawning and rearing habitat located in the headwaters. The Santa Clara River estuary is but 15% of its historical extent and has been encroached on by agricultural and urban development, with the added challenge of invasive and non-native plant and aquatic species diminishing the usable habitat and food sources available for steelhead. Efforts are underway to reclaim lost habitat. Much of the lower river channel is overgrown with invasive arundodonax, or giant reed, and other alien plants which not only impede passage, reduce flows and food availability, but also increases fire intensity and frequency. Only a few short miles from the ocean, fish run into the Vern Freeman Diversion Dam, which presents a huge obstacle to steelhead's access to upstream tributaries. This dam is the most significant steelhead migration barrier within the lower Santa Clara Rivershed. The facility diverts flows from the lower river that affects in-stream flow connectivity toward the Pacific Ocean. In recent years, only a handful of steelhead have managed to navigate the Vern Freeman diversion during high flow events. Once past Vern Freeman, they are met with a myriad of other migration barriers on just about every viable tributary that blocks miles of prime headwaters including two large dams on Piru Creek. 
Considering that the Santa Clara River watershed historically had an annual adult steelhead run of 9,000 adults, Caltrout is a strong advocate for a fish passage alternative that modifies or considers removal of the dams and incorporates upgrading water diversion infrastructure that supports groundwater recharge. In the headwaters, fish are faced with warming waters, diminished flows, and now competition from invasive aquatic non-native species that have been introduced into the watershed. In 2012, Caltrout created the Southern California Steelhead Coalition to address issues related to steelhead recovery in the Santa Clara River watershed. California trout ensures resilient wild fish in healthy watersheds for a better California. We do that by addressing complex resource issues and one of our strategies here in Southern California to recover the federally listed Southern California steelhead is to bring local groups together through our Santa Clara River Steelhead Coalition. Bringing together agencies, universities, nonprofits, and stakeholders, the coalition has adopted a headwaters to ocean approach to restoration through integrated partnerships and management along the life cycle history path of the steelhead. Currently, the coalition partners are engaged in a series of projects that directly benefit the southern steelhead by addressing fish passage, in-stream flows, floodplain and riparian restoration and protection, invasive removal, estuary enhancement, and headwaters protection. In the estuary, Wish Toyo Foundation completed a feasibility study to enhance and expand the habitat and recreational opportunities. Coalition partners are also considering ways to address the invasive species threat. Along the main stem, Cal Trout, the Nature Conservancy, Santa Clara River Watershed Conservancy, and Stillwater Science are working to protect and restore riparian habitats and control invasive species. A major portion of the headwaters to the Santa Clara remain pristine and protected on public lands within the Los Padres National Forest. Throughout the tributaries, partners are working to address fish passage and flows so that fish can make it to these prime habitats. Santa Paula Creek Subbasin and its tributary Cisar Creek host some of the most productive steelhead habitat in all of the Santa Clara River watershed and are the closest high quality habitat to the ocean. Harvey Diversion is located approximately four miles upstream of the confluence of Santa Paula Creek and the Santa Clara River main stem and creates a large barrier to fish migration while blocking passage into the cold waters of upper Santa Paula Creek. And Caltrout has secured $600,000 to restore fish passage at this facility. Further up in the Santa Paula watershed, friends of the Santa Clara River are working with a landowner to replace an old Arizona low flow crossing with a free span bridge to allow migratory fish back into upper Cesar Creek. Kairu Creek is one of the largest Santa Clara tributaries, but most of the prime steelhead water is blocked behind two large dams, Santa Felicia Dam and Pyramid Dam. Caltrout is currently working to secure flows and potentially fish passage to enable wild steelhead to return to historically accessible habitat in Piru Creek through informing the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission relicensing processes for these hydropower facilities. The Upper Sespe Creek and its tributaries host some of the most diverse steelhead habitat in the Santa Clara watershed. Historically, the Sespe was one of the most popular rivers for fishing and boasted a healthy resident population of steelhead, as well as migratory adults. Caltrout is working on a plan to restore fish passage and eliminate warm water habitat and exotic invasive species in Rose Valley Lakes, a prime spring-fed tributary to the Sespe. The Santa Clara River is one of our best opportunities to restore wild fish abundance in Southern California. The problems are manageable and the solutions are tangible. Partners are engaged, interested, and the projects are underway. The time to act is now if we are going to keep these iconic fish from going extinct. We are committed to long-ranging solutions that balance the needs of resilient wild fish and a sustainable water supply for our local community and biodiversity. Resilient fish are indicative of a robust water supply, healthy groundwater basins, and adequate in-stream flows. Please, join us in helping protect Southern California's Santa Clara River steelhead. 
For more info on the Santa Clara River Steelhead Coalition, how to volunteer on our projects, attend our outreach events, or donate to one of our projects, please visit caltrout.org.